Happy Monday, everybody. Coach Elizabeth here. On today's Monday Morning Manifestation, we're going to talk about guilt plus regret plus worry, which is kind of the trilogy of shitty emotions that everybody feels. And the reason I wanted to talk about it today was since we're kind of smack dab in the middle of the holiday season, it feels like this is the high time for guilt right? We're around a lot of family. Maybe we don't see all the time and things tend to kind of come to the surface. So I thought today we would talk about how to kind of get to the root of the guilt and then give you guys some tips and tricks to be able to squash those feelings as soon as they come. We're going to take wisdom today from Dr. Wayne Dyer from your erroneous zones. Fantastic book. You guys pick it up, go through it. Um, first off, he talks about why we feel guilt. And the reason that we feel guilt is because we care. So this is a good thing. You know, if we didn't care, we would all be complete sociopath um, narcissists. So it's a good thing that you care. But I want to tell you a little story, which kind of prompted today's um, topic as well. This morning, my husband and I, on the rare occasion, got to take our kids to school together. And our sweet little three-year-old Vivian's in the back seat, and she's just singing Christmas songs. And all of a sudden, my husband um, expresses how he's going to feel so guilty to miss her holiday program um, next weekend. He travels a lot, and I think this is a special occasion that he doesn't want to miss. The thing is, is we're going to be having a lavish, wonderful weekend in Los Angeles this weekend. So we will be missing it. Grandma will be in town and she will videotape it for us. I've made my peace with this because I know how badly we deserve and need this break. My husband, on the other hand, is carrying this guilt and he's been carrying it since he put two and two together that we were actually going to be missing this program. So I said to him in the car, okay, if you feel this bad about missing it, then don't go to LA. I'ma go. You can meet me there after the program if you really want. If you really feel that bad about missing it, then don't miss it. But if you've made the decision that you're gonna miss it and we're gonna do this other thing, you feeling guilty about it does nothing. All it does is chip away from the excitement and the fun anticipation of this weekend. Sweet little Vivi's in the backseat. She doesn't care. You feeling guilty doesn't make her feel more loved. It really doesn't. So this was the perfect example, right? We're at a crossroads here. Continue to beat yourself up and still have the outcome and, and worry too, right? Because this is a future event. Or release it. Ask yourself, is there anything I can do? Okay, so we'll talk a little bit more about those exercises as, as in a couple minutes here. But first, I want to talk about the two types of guilt. The first type of guilt is leftover guilt. So this is this wonderful guilt that we carry on our back throughout our life. And a lot of time this guilt could have been triggered for us by maybe a school teacher or a parent. A perfect example of this could be, you know, a parent saying, oh, you're only going to be with us for two hours on Christmas. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll survive. That's an, that's enough for me. I guess that can be enough. Oh man, what do you feel when somebody says something like that? You feel guilt, right? So this is something that others have put on you. This is what falls into the leftover guilt category. The reason why this is such a bullshit waste of time to feel guilty about is because nobody else can make you feel guilty. You're the one on this hamster wheel of guilt and suffering, thinking that if you feel guilt, it will somehow make the situation better or you'll absolve yourself of some of the responsibility. So when we're in the situation, you either spend more time with your family at the holidays or when somebody says something like that to you, you immediately just let it go. You just let it go right through you because you know, you know that you're doing the best you can for you and your family and you've made that decision. You suffering and carrying that guilt does absolutely nothing. Which brings us to the second type of guilt. This is self-imposed guilt. So this is the guilt that my husband was feeling, right? He's beating himself up for missing this program. This could also be guilt over maybe any sort of self-care that you might do. So say you get a massage or, or even maybe you eat some indulgent food. You know, as you're eating the French fry, you're feeling guilty about it. You're beating yourself up about it, right? or you're feeling guilty for not going to church, or you feel guilty for not exercising. So this is guilt that we lay on thick to ourselves. 
But the thing is, is that once we express this guilt or we acknowledge it within ourselves, it really kind of in a weird way gives us a free pass to keep doing it. It's like if you say to somebody with all due respect and then follow it up with a big old insult, you feel like you've somehow absolved yourself from being the asshole as long as you say with all due respect. So if you eat something or you do something and then you beat yourself up, you somehow think that you're evening the score, but you're not because you still did that behavior. So if it really is a behavior that is harming you or others, that's another little thing to ask yourself is what I'm doing harming others. Is me going to the spa harming others? Nope. Shouldn't feel guilty about it. Immediately dismiss it. Is me eating bad food harming others? Nope. Don't feel bad about it. Now you might want to examine why you're doing that. Maybe you're trying to numb out from something else. But as long as it isn't something that's harming somebody else, you can really kind of let yourself off the hook of feeling guilty about it because nothing good is going to come from that guilt anyway. So how do we get rid of guilt for good? You realize that feeling guilty is not making you a better person. Let me say that again. Feeling guilty does not make you a better person. It doesn't show somebody else that you care about them more. It does nothing except drain your energy and beat yourself up and keep you out of the present moment. What you need to be doing instead is looking at the present moment and saying, why am I trying to go somewhere other than where I am right now? Why am I looking in the future and worrying about that? Or why am I dwelling on the past? It's because something in the present moment is wrong, okay? or you can't be still and be grateful in the present moment. So that's where you need to focus your energy is exploring that, not wasting all of this energy on regret or worry or guilt, okay? And the second tip is to really acknowledge the past for what it is, fucking over. The past is over. There's nothing you can do about it. That time you didn't spend with your grandma before she died, You sitting here feeling shitty about it does absolutely nothing. Grandma's not up in heaven saying, oh, well, thank God he feels guilty about it. No, she's not. She's up there having a good old time. Nobody's worrying about this but you. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to start loving yourself enough to free yourself from that. There's nothing you can do about it. And the same goes for worry. That's about something in the future that hasn't fucking happened yet. Stop worrying about it. Plan, make a plan, right? To set yourself up for success in the future and then let it go. Let the future come and deal with it as it will. Don't worry about what's gonna happen in the future. And I know I'm sitting here preaching to you guys like, oh, don't do this. I do it too. Don't get it twisted. I worry all the time. But it's not about that. It's about awareness. We're just trying to be more aware of these behaviors so that we can chip away from them and hopefully in the future, get through the holidays and every day without feeling the energy drain of guilt or worry or regret. Those are my tips for you this week. I'll be right here for you next week with more tips and tricks.